boy. You dumb bird. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> I've been, I've been laughing at that stupid fucking line for like two weeks now. Hi, how's it going, guys? Sorry, I know some of you were new and then I ended up taking a break, but after I got done wrapping up all my shows, I needed a quick break, trying to catch up on some things, print out some shit, finish La Casa. Uh, this one came out, this one came out kind of okay. I kind of got his creepy eyes down but not quite as well as i wanted to but not yeah not too bad that was a good episode but i've been I've, I've been slacking i've been falling behind episode four is coming out in like a couple hours it might actually already be out let me see it's friday episode five is already up no the 18th what's today is it anything ah, fuck i'm that far behind i thought it was only damn it I thought I was only three episodes behind. I'm four episodes behind. All right, well, now I got to watch. I might have to watch two episodes tonight. I normally like having uh, the latest painting behind me, but you might have to just not have it in the background until I can just breeze through two episodes real quick. Speaking of which, uh, I wanted to do Billy last episode, but eh, I guess he'll suffice. I can't wait to draw me some starlight. Um, all right, so, fuck. So I'll be all caught up if I watch these next two episodes, and then I watch the next two episodes back to back. Then I'll be all caught up with you guys, so we can start. Because I, I've, I've yet to watch a show where I'm up to date with the viewers. You know, normally it's the viewers, it's, it's you guys in the comment section being like, actually, and, and wait till you see what happens in episode blah, blah, blah. And don't get me wrong, I'm fine with that. But I would like to finally be up to date with one show with you guys. So I might do a boys marathon this weekend. Get up to episode five. Um, let's see what happened in that last episode. I was saying how they've been going off book a lot and Stormfront, I think her name is the screwball from Spider-Man Four chick. I I, I'm, I don't rem remember her being in the series at all. I think she's a brand new character. Let's see. So she showed up. She's social media friendly. Uh, oh, he went to him and tried to talk shit, but he pulled his Gus maneuver and talked shit right back. Uh, Stillwell was in that made-for-TV movie with the oh yeah bollocks you guy. Um, they they found a super terrorist, but I still don't know why they keep calling him that. I'm, I'm assuming it's a him because they keep calling him a him. So I'm assuming it's a dude, but I don't know why they're calling him a terrorist. I don't know why the girl didn't try harder to get her point across with the fucking little origami thing. Uh, FBI lady, no, CIA lady. Her head blew up. I think she's got a Mission Impossible Suicide Squad chip in her head. Um, but who would have put it in there? Now that I'm thinking about it, because I, I was saying that a lot last episode, that I think she has a Mission Impossible chip. But who would have put the chip in there? Like, would... She couldn't have not known that I... Like, there's no way the CIA is like, hey, we're going to put a microchip in your head that blows your head up if you get too close to shit. I doubt anybody would sign up for that. Huh. I didn't even think about that. Um, so she's dead. And then Billy showed up at the end. And, again, I'm not... I, I just... I can't imagine Homelander letting him go. I just can't. After all the shit that he pulled, after everything he's done, the only thing that I can think of him doing is letting him live just to rub it in, you know? Just to be like, just to twist that knife a little bit more. Be like, hey, you thought that I raped your wife. You thought that I freaking killed her. Meanwhile, she fucked me. We had a kid together. This is my son, and I'm going to let you live. I'm going to let you live knowing that your wife left you to fuck me and I have a kid with her that you don't have but like I can't, like wouldn't he 
I guess maybe he could be like, I'll kill her if you try anything again. That would make sense, right? Like, yo, like, I'm going to let you live just to be a dick. But if you come after me or my people again, I'm going to kill your wife. I don't care about her. I care about my, my kid. He'll, he'll live. Your wife will die if you do anything else. That works, right? Oh, and sorry, all of you guys are yelling at me in the comment section because I was like, I thought that Huey and Billy were still friends at the end of last episode. And then you guys are all like, he insulted his dead girlfriend and called him a bitch and blah, blah, blah. Okay, yes, he was... He was rude to him, but he was always rude to him throughout the entire show. Like, I, I don't, the way that he looked at Billy when Billy showed up, I just don't understand why he would be that, like, against Billy coming back. I can understand being like, oh, fuck Billy. He said he talked shit to my, about my dead girlfriend. and But he did that the entire season. I just feel like, I just feel like Huey was a little too against Billy being back. Proper preparation and planning. It sounds like a community episode. Ugh, turn that shit off. Episode two. Juniper, no sidewalk. Oh, cool. We're getting a flash. This is him trying to figure out where she is. Yeah, that makes sense because when he took him down, he, did, he wouldn't know where he was. So he's trying to figure out where where they where they live. Like, hey, your wife's still alive. Psh, knock him unconscious and then just drop him off somewhere. But again, I can't see Homelander doing that. Maybe she asked him, like, please don't kill him. Do it for me. Do it for our son. Some shit like that. God, this show looks fucking gorgeous. <laughs> They've got some really good placement of the title. Crayon in a kid's venue. I, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's pretty cool. The first thing he does is write down as much as he can remember. <laughs> you should probably get going. I like that, though. The first thing he does is write down as much as he can remember before he forgets any, any little detail. Boy, girl, boy. Like, see, there's no way that she can't, like... I'm sorry. I don't want to understand. Get a, get a picture book. Like, I understand she can't write or read words or... But, like, she should be able to... So he really just let him go. That's so... I, I just can't see it happening. That was the same... <laughs> yeah, Huey. I guess he wears glasses in real life. I saw a, a thumbnail of him, him, Starlight, and Billy on a YouTube uh, video. And I saw him with glasses on, and I'm like, you look so different with glasses on. Yeah. <laughs> it's never coming back. You can't do that. Yes, yes, you can. You're my son. Has anyone told you what you're capable of? Well, his eyes were glowing at the end of the episode for the finale. So he at least has has beam powers. Is she not telling him about his powers? I'd be pissed. If I could fly and you didn't tell me. You know, when I was his age, I was breaking the sound barrier. He can't even throw a fastball. We thought it was best that he have as ordinary of a childhood as possible. <sighs> Boo! He's weak. 
Look, I just want my kid to be normal. Yeah, yeah. Well, then it's a good thing I'm here. <laughs> Tough shit. <laughs> my son is the furthest fucking thing on this planet. There you go. How long are you planning on staying? Whenever the fuck I feel it. I can fly. Beckham, we got a deal. You and I let him live. And well and running around as free as a goddamn bird. So let's just try and be civil. That's a fair deal. I'll let you see your kid if you don't kill Billy. Oh yeah, the cult. The fresca. <laughs> Is he in charge or is she in charge? Oh shit. That's it. Just gotta realign things. This is gonna be interesting. What is this shrooms? Yes. Last time I did shrooms, I did a Gugudos concert with some poli side chick from Home Run. What's wrong with poli side? Poli side represent. He drank that pretty fast. She is trying to humble him. They always say that mushrooms Who's revving up the girl are uh, seven. ego death, I think it's called. Cleveland's first is your first WFAK AMFT. WDCS. <laughs> she's the newest member of the seven, and she's taking a My God, this looks so horrible. It's funny how, like, growing up, I always wanted this. The fame and fortune and red carpets and shit like that. This looks horrible to me now. What? Her girlfriend? What? Has to be. When? Who else? She die? Where? What? I gotta go. What? No. I'm sorry. Family emergency. Yeah, the fuck are you gonna do? Babe, we've never had three women in the seventh before. This is a moment. Girls, get it done. You are not... I have a family emergency too. <laughs> Reading from the Book of Revelations, the God shall I like her already. Tears from their eyes and there will be no more she reminds me of someone. Today we say goodbye to Susan. Ugh. Although her body rests, can't even have a funeral open casket. And one day you will think of Susan with joy. Oh, that's uh, what's her face? Was it Mallory? You will carry forever. I just got done watching Archer, so I'm not sure if. I'm just mixing up the old lady spy leaders. Her name was Mallory, though, right? Oi! You think you can surprise me? Oh, Grace. You promised I'd never see you again. Yeah, well. I promised not to come to your house again. A sapper. Hey. I assume you sent the edible arrangement. That is a hey. That's a good way around a promise. Rainer would love that. Grace, I know who killed Rainer. Do you? I think four killed us are getting too close to something. Getting too close to what? Something to do with a soup terrorist smuggled in the Jersey a couple of months ago. That is where we start. Talk about Homelander. Hey, Homelander killed Stillwell. My wife is still alive. Come on, just be real with her. If she's your teacher, seriously, just be completely honest with her. <laughs> Goo goo dolls. <laughs> Don't look in the mirror. Don't do it. Bro, we gotta talk. Is that Patton Oswald? No, you gotta look at us. Look at us. That's definitely Patton Oswald. You were supposed to present her with Teacher of the Year, but you bailed while she was pulling her panties back on. Yeah, because you laughed at me. Can't accept your own body, so you violate theirs. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's that's kind of deep. Hey, 
I wouldn't expect that to, as a as a reasoning behind his actions. Not forgiving him, just saying. Psychologically, it, it, Ego death. I like her in civilian clothing. I think this is the first time I've seen her in civilian clothing. Ah, so she's not dead, but what? Cancer. Did you see? Okay. Can we get this middle chair on here, please? Yes, let me. Thank you. Can we get the two on the side, just mm -hmm. smushed together? Respectfully. Single, 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 uh, single, definitely. Stormfront's gonna. No, I feel like she she she's gonna play it. I can't tell if Stormfront's gonna talk shit or go with the flow. Like, look at it. Here we go. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Oh, let me have pockets in this thing. I can see every crease in my ass. I can practically see up Starlight's uterus. Starlight, your teammate on the train has been out of the public eye. He thought recently revealed that he was on a top secret mission in Kandahar. Wasn't that where the Punisher? America really is lucky to have such a great hero. Killed that dude. Wasn't he in a coma? Is this is her first time seeing him since then? Wow, welcome back. Thanks, thank you. Mm. So far, you know, it is such an honor to meet you. Oh, a huge thing. I feel like, no, they had to have talked beforehand, right? Or was he in a coma this whole time? Like, why wouldn't he instantly blow up her spot? She did save your life, dude. Well, obviously she did it. Come on, dude. Who did you mention that part to? Nobody. Oh, he's just gonna let her sweat. That's even better. That's even better. He keeps doing that. Hmm? That face. I get being self conscious about that shit, though. You just don't see what I see. What, a, what an awfully nice set of gills. <laughs> I don't know why, but I, but I knew he was going to start singing. I felt it. <laughs> this is the, this show is so weird. Everything, Everything I need. You are <laughs> this is the, this show is so weird. This is definitely gonna be able to take the spot of Doom Patrol's weird comic book so show. Not... Respectfully. She did. I thought she was anti this outfit. Are you kidding me? I can't take this right now. I literally have no pockets. Put it in the backpack. Backpack, backpack. Come on. Let's finish dick tickling these pockets so we can finally do our real job. I love her. Shall we? Our best guess, you'll get bored and move on. You remember that? 
because he won't. You don't. I will let you take me out to dinner. I like this. This is cute. I forgot. We need to order in and keep it low pro. Mm. Come on, Maeve. What are you doing here if nothing has changed? You're not dating Homelander anymore. It would be good PR. There's no way that wouldn't be good PR. Like, there's no minority characters in the seven. Having an LBGTQ. She doesn't know that Homelander is evil, though. Homelander? That's that's a pretty good. Did that? That's a pretty good reasoning for not yes. being with you. But I've watched him do things he made me do. Why are you telling me this now? She wants you to know. <laughs> he, he, he has to stand like that no matter what he's doing. Mom says being lonely makes you a better sleeper. I was going to say, she's not wrong. Isolating. And gods should not have to feel that kind of pain. They're humanizing him too. Shit, this kid might actually turn him into a good person. He won't, but he could. Son, we can do anything we want. And no one can stop us. I, that. <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> it's a good feeling. A really good feeling. But you're scared of the kid. Now, you and me. And share it together. We're gonna go murder somebody. Hey. I'm getting, I'm getting tired, yeah. Sure. Look at him. The kid, kid knows you're fucking creepy. I love you, son. Gotta say it. Say it back. You gotta say it. Aww. I love you too. Dad. This is nice. <laughs> You're right. I'm not gonna get bored anymore, Mom. I'm not going anywhere. He heard that? So feel free to tell Dr. Park to go fuck himself. Did Dr. Park call him or did he just super hear? I can't imagine his hearing is that fucking specific. Nothing shuts. I I really hope that I don't have to dress up for Halloween this year. As a bartender, it's kinda like mandatory. But if I'm not working on Halloween, I might not have to do that for once. Although I did get some cool Wolverine claws out of the deal last year. Oh! You don't even know if he was a bad guy. Yeah, there's a gun in C4 or whatever, but still. Could have asked a question or two. Um, I was gonna say maybe she knows him from. Oh, was yeah. I was gonna say wasn't those the ones that took her? So she knows the dude then. Oh, is it her brother? She was trying to get her brother back, right? That was the whole point of what she was doing last season. Is it Kimiko or Kamiko? Is that him? Is that her bro? Hug. Yeah. Hugs. <laughs> Mouse. She speaks sign language? Her brother. That's what she was trying to tell you. She spoke sign language this whole fucking time. She couldn't do brother. He's still a terrorist. Oh, I've got to shoot him anyway. Oh, I'm going to bollocks him. 
Come on, Huey. Kick that shit. Yeah. I'd be good with that power. I just got done playing Vader Immortal. I was doing that shit left and right. Yeah, see, he says Kimiko. But they're, they, but they also said Kimiko before. But Kimiko is K-A-M-E-K-O. Kimiko is K-A-K-I-M-I-K-O. I think it's Kimiko. <laughs> That's gotta be so annoying. Why do you care what I think? Cause you're cool. I'm... Respectfully. What? What's bot? Listening to us. Oh my god, everyone is so fucking stage managed. Life isn't actually a PR strategy. You can say what you think. What if it's not safe? You are literally bulletproof. <laughs> what the fuck is gonna happen? Be a bitch if you want. Be whatever. Just strap the mask once in a while. Feels good. You can finally breathe. Oh, and if someone sticks a dick in your mouth, bite it off. <laughs> Pippi Longstocking will bite a D. That's for damn sure. <laughs> She's cool. They're gonna be on his side. Yeah. He tried to shoot him. She's one of the team. I get why he did it. Yeah. He's got a deal. Fuck. Off. No. The rest of you with me. Come on, don't press the no. no. Look at them. Hey, they're staying with you. Fuck you waiting for? Frenchie loves Kimiko. And he doesn't want you to kill the brother. I'm Are gone. You me <laughs> that her family is worth more to you than you see in your life. No. I'm not. But. But Kimiko is one of us. What did I say? She's part of the team. I'll find another way. I suppose you agree, don't you? Look at him, he's all happy. He's like, you guys are on my time? Or on my team, really? Baker's alive. Oh, okay. What? She's alive and Vault's holding a captive somewhere. So just Which fucking tell them this kind of shit. I don't understand why he would keep it a secret. She had a little boy with her, right? Blonde. in the jar and lander. I thought he just wanted to humiliate me. Show me what he'd done to my girl. Before he gave me the good news. And then I woke up three hours later and the Tony fucking sister us. I know what I've done to, to you. Right? See? And by rights, you should tell me to fuck off. Yes. But still, I'm asking. There you go. I would 100% forgive him. If I was Huey, I'd forgive him right now. That's some, that's some, that's some heavy shit right there. Amen. Like, I get that sign language isn't universal, but still, I feel like I don't understand why she couldn't tell them, tell Frank she, you know, just do something and then have Frank she look up sign language and then, oh, that doesn't make any sense. I can't see him sticking around too long, though. Like, I don't even remember him being in the, in the comics either. God, I love how much they add to this. It's just so much better. Oof. Yo, that place looks nasty. Hide that shit in there. Who, uh, who we sexting? Mm-hmm. What are you doing in here? Get out. Okay, it's just a misunderstanding. You're the... I should have charred your ass. You're the... I was gonna say, you're the worst spy ever. Saved your life. We both did. You're not gonna tell anyone anything. Yeah. He would have already done it. Who says that I haven't already? Because then I'd already be dead. Yeah. You're not gonna do shit. 
Why is that? Because you killed your fucking girlfriend. And you hate yourself for it? That's what you told Huey, right? That you killed Papa? Fuck you. She wants yes. you to join. Come I with me. I looked at the bot forensics report and... Wow. All those needles jammed into our arm at the same time. <laughs> I mean, one of them actually shattered the bone. How did she get a hold of the records? If you do that, Take you down right with you. Well, that's the that's the we'll point. That's the point she's making. Yes, mutually assured destruction. Go ahead. Fucking try it. I don't give a shit. Give me this. Come on, you're kind of on our side. You get it. They did make you kill your girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> you should play poker. Good job. Oh, so he's he is he is terrorist. Ah. That sucks. I get where he's coming from. Just sucks to have to fight your sister like an hour into seeing each other for the first time in God knows how many years. God, I want that power so bad. So aggravating. That looked awesome. Special effects on the show are fantastic when they need to be. Well, cheers, love. <laughs> At least someone's got some sense around here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you tried to shoot her brother. Don't even fucking... <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> that was... <laughs> That's exactly what that face meant. That face meant, hey, hey. Don't fucking push it right now. What the fuck was that for? You come between me and my missus again. Man, fuck you. That's bullshit. That's absolute horse shit. Granted, I, I guarantee you that Billy's punched everybody. Like, there's no way that Billy hasn't punched Frank Shee in Mother's Milk at some point. Hey, look at him. He's like, yeah, this is just how we roll. Come on. You're part of the group now, buddy. Man up. I feel like Huey should work out some more. Have them teach him how to fight at least. Ah, what's it gonna do? You're fighting superheroes. That was a good one though. That was a good one. I'm, I'm, man, I think this show might be the best show on TV right now. I said that about Doom Patrol going into season two, but season two kind of fizzled out near the end, so I can't give it to Doom Patrol. La Casa this season, meh. Nah. I just started Archer, but that doesn't really count. These are hour-long, serialized, storytelling type shits. Lucifer, fuck no. I'm trying to think what else is out right now. I think this might be the best show current that everyone's currently watching. I haven't watched uh, Lovecraft Trent Reznor, I'm looking at this right now. Trent Reznor won an Emmy for The Watchmen. Trent Reznor. Topia starts soon? Ugh, that's going to be on Amazon too, right? Yeah, that's going to be on Amazon. I don't know how I feel about Utopia. Fargo starts soon at least. All right, Fargo might be up there. We'll see how season four turns out. But right now, I'm going to say for sure this is the best show on TV. Currently. Like I said, I get that Billy's... Kind of a lone wolf, keep everything at at uh, uh, close to the vest, chest, whatever it's called. But I just I don't understand why he wouldn't come clean about these things, like right away. Like Mallory, you know that she's like wants nothing to do with you. She's already mad that you're seeing her. She's mad that you probably that your people helped get what's her face killed. 
Like I would have led with, hey, real quick, I found Homelander and my wife and he's got a kid. And then when you go back to them, to, to, your, to the boys, like why would you wait that long to let them in on it? Like why wouldn't they, like they would want to help you. And you're mad at Huey. You punched Huey in the face, made him bleed. If you get in the way of me, more misses again. He didn't know about your misses when he got in the way. Boo, Billy. Boo, I say. The only thing that he did this this, this episode that I was like, yeah, 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 was when he was writing everything down at the beginning. But I feel like he didn't. I feel like it was unnecessary for him to to hold back on those key details. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what Homelander means when he's talking about the kid's going to hate you. I'm assuming he's talking about the fact that they're in a, there's cameras everywhere. But when he, when he said if he wants to go to a Burger King, why can't the kid go to a Burger King? If If the kid can go... If the kid can be left alone with a complete stranger old lady to take piano lessons, why can't he go to Burger King? It's not like anybody knows who he is. Like, my first thought would be they're afraid that he might lose his powers in the middle of the Burger King and, you know, laser zap everybody, but then you wouldn't let him be able to go to have piano lessons. So I don't know what he means by that whole, that whole little conversation they had. I also they don't they didn't explain how he knew she went to Dr. Park and that she wasn't going to leave that he wasn't going to leave alone. The only thing that I can think of is that they really don't want to piss him off so they were like, "Yo, just so you they called him up, like, yo, just so you know, she came to visit us. We told her go fuck yourself." But wouldn't that piss him off? The only thing that I can think of is that he heard her, is that he's super, super hearing somehow. Um, there, there was a lot of stuff this episode. Everybody except Black Noir had something to do. Kimiko Miyashiro in Kenji. Kenji and Kimiko. He's a... He's a film director? Holy shit. The guy that plays her brother, Abraham Lim, is a Korean-American film director, actor, screenwriter, and editor. Good for fucking you, dude. I wonder if he's going to be one of the main characters this season. I mean, they've already caught him. Maeve and her girl. I like that. Because that was a point last season that I was kind of angry about because I want Maeve to be happy and when she was kind of you know dr I think she was drunk when she went to visit her and then she like started like dipping her toes in the water of telling her what the truth was but I feel like if, he, if she really loved this chick I feel like she would have come clean a little bit sooner <laughs> it's funny when it comes to Starlight because she's actively working against Vought she hates Vought. She hates, like, I, I don't know why she's dressing like that, though. Like, I, like, last season, she put her foot down and was like, listen, go fuck yourself. I'm going to wear my old dress. I hate dolling myself up like this. I don't know why, like, I get she wants to, to play it cool to try to, you know, take it down from the inside. But I feel like she didn't have to go back on that. Despite the fact that I have no problem looking respectfully every episode. I feel like she didn't have to, like, there was that one little girl at the end of last season where she was like, I liked your old outfit better. She's like, I like my old outfit better too. I don't know. I feel like I, I can understand her going, sticking along with everything, but I feel like she's going back on her laurels a little bit. So I feel like when Stormfront is like, Oh, look, whatever, you suck, fucking whatever, dude. Like, she's got to be so aggravated on the inside because she wants to be like, listen, yes, 100%, but I, I can't tell you this right now. I liked the whole thing with her and A-Train. I didn't, I wasn't, I'm not sure how I feel about that being the reason A-Train doesn't throw them under the bus. The fact that Popclaw 
a i don't know how she got a hold of the of the of the medical examiner's report and b like she, if she goes to Sports Illustrated and tells them, hey, you know, Pop Claw got murdered by A Train, you should look into that, et cetera, et cetera. Like she has to call Sports Illustrated. Sports Illustrated has to get the information. They have to probably, because of legal reasons, contact Vought just to get a, you know, commentary on something. At that point, like I feel like A Train could very easily super run to Homelander. Be like, yo, real quick, she's a traitor. She's trying to steal Compound V. She fucking almost killed me last time. She's working with Huey. She's a whatever. And then Homelander instantly kills her. Like, I don't... That's a stupid... I thought that he was just going to be like, you know what? I did have to kill Popclaw. That did suck. I do blame Homelander. I do blame Vought, even though it was kind of my fault. I kind of see where you're coming from. But he looked like he still... Like, he looked like he had a little bit of that but more animosity and hatred for her being a traitor. I don't know. I feel, I feel like that threat doesn't work quite as well as she wants it to. I want to go to the discussion thread, but I don't think there's a separate... Yeah, there isn't. Fuck. All right. Never mind. I was going to go to the discussion thread to see if I missed anything, but I forgot that the first three episodes are lumped into a one discussion thread... All right, so that means I have to watch this next one before I can go to Reddit. Which is fine, because I wanted to watch the next one anyway. Ugh. I could do without Billy. Like, if Billy never does that face this season, because that's already three times he's done it in two episodes. And, like, I get that's just kind of his trademark sneer, but, like, I'm, I'm good. Don't over, freaking, don't, just like freaking Kimiko did the, the look, don't push it. Don't push that look, Billy. All right, I think I'm done drinking whiskey, so. Ugh, it's like, <coughs> scotch, whatever. I'm going to go switch back to coffee for episode three. I'll see you next week 